So here we go again. Three and a half years later, and Plymouth City Council are now suggesting we're going to rename Sir John Hawkins Square to Justice Square. So does that mean you're not going to use the court order that District Judge Matson gave you on December the 4th, 2020? Does that mean that that order is no longer in play? Is that because Jack Leslie Way exists up in the Argyle? Is that because you failed to disclose last time the actual decision made by Councillor Mark Lowry on the 11th of June 2020, a full week before you got written permission from, from Jack Leslie's family to do so? A complete breach of your own published policy dated 2018, which is now out of date. So does that mean that that order that was granted on the back of lies is now void? Because it was void ab initio, obviously, because it's based on fraud. But it means you can't use it because Jack Leslie Way now exists, which is something that I suggested before we even went to court on August the 17th, 2020, in an ADR letter. Is that the reason? Or does District Judge Matson now have to withdraw her court order from the 4th of December 2020 because you can't start new proceedings about the same thing when there's a live court order already in existence? Or does it not matter because it's void court order? I think you need to withdraw the court order before anybody can start new proceedings about the same thing. But what is really interesting is that they want to call it Justice Square. The irony when they caused an injustice to get a court order they no longer can use, and they can't use it anyway. And is it rather funny that at the same time they're chasing me for 17 grand of their 22 grand's worth of costs because they lied? So what's going to be interesting this time is whether alteration and alter is challenged by people in their letters of appeal, which they've got 21 days from today, the 8th of November to write a letter of appeal to Plymouth Magistrates Court to challenge whether the council, or any council for that matter, can change, rename an existing street or road. Because 1925 legislation it's under says alter or alteration of a street name. Black's law definition of the word alter and alteration is to change something that doesn't lose its identity. So if you wanted to change or if you wanted to alter, because that's all you can do, because that's what the legislation states, doesn't say rename or change anywhere. If you wanted to alter or make an alteration to the existing name for over 40 years, Sir John Hawkins Square, then you could drop the Sir John, because then it would be called Hawkins Square, which is what most people in Plymouth call it anyway, and have done for the last 40 years since it existed. And once more, if these woke idiots want to replace the name of a slave trader, then why aren't they looking at other places in Plymouth, such as the Bollards and the Ho, where Sir John Hawkins is the first one before Sir Francis Drake, his cousin? And why is nobody attacking Sir Francis Drake? He did the slave trading voyages as well when the Queen asked them to in their naval boats. Can you imagine if they said no? Hmm, chop his head off. I mean, these people who want to judge yesterday's actions with today's morals are off their heads. And these people, like Giles Perry, the deputy CEO, Mr Burns I call him, from The Simpsons, and people like him pervert the course of public justice, misconduct in public office, by taking the three signs down on June the 8th, 2020, with no work order, no reasonable excuse, and creating a public health hazard in Sir John Hawkins Square for the last three and a half years, when the legislation, section 19 of the same act, says that all councils and local authorities must have all the street signs legible and in the right place. And yet they're not, and it hasn't been. And if anybody takes a street sign down, they can get fined up to a pound a day. But bear in mind, that legislation was written in 1925. But the prosecuting party is not the police, it's the council. So when a council officer like Giles Perry, as deputy CEO and on a six-figure salary, does these things, who can hold him to account? You're going to report it to the police. They don't want to know. They don't want to touch the council. It's like a who touched the tar baby. Yeah, and Mark Lowry, why was he not offered up as, an, as a witness by the council last, last time? Because he made the decision. So it'll be interesting to find out who's made this decision 
when they made it and what other nominations and options were on the table when they did. There's been no public consultation and I know for a fact that 95% of the people just want it called Sir John Hawking Square like it has been for over 40 years and no one's by the fucking eyelid. Injustice Square would be more appropriate and until we start holding these public servants to account including judges then what you allow is what will continue. So I urge people to write in, write a letter of appeal, not objection, a letter of appeal and challenge this decision and ask the court to disclose. What decision am I challenging? Because I need to know who made it and when.